one of the things that makes some of these persons very, 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 very angry at Angel Snub Number Seven is that I say to them, as far as the once called American Negro or Black American, Black people of America, as far as we are concerned, we are not Africans. They get so angry and upset over that. I would further say, you are not a Hebrew Israelite. You are not comedic. You're not a Moor. You're not a black Muslim. All these things you talk about, that is not us. That is not the black American. So it's no shock to me that we as a people don't embrace those things. So there are from 17 to 40 some million so-called African-Americans in this country. And there's just a handful that would tell you, I'm a black Muslim. I'm from the tribe of Shabazz. I'm, I'm a Moorish citizen. I'm an African. I'm a Native American. And all these things that you talk about. And I would say and it is my belief, these identities, these labels are rejected because deep down inside the black American or the so-called Negro, we know that's not who we are. And these labels and these identities are treated and some of them are outright called a religion or treated like a religion. It's something that I believe, I believe I'm an African. I believe I'm a Moors. I'm, I'm, I believe I'm a Hebrew uh, Israelite. I believe that I'm comedic. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> it's a belief. How do you come to the conclusion that you're not an African? I'm using the same story that you tell the transatlantic slave trade uh, and all that kind of uh, slavery I'm using the same story that you use except I'm using all of it I'm not taking bits and pieces to make up a narrative so it can fit into your story that you are an ancient Jew Israelite, you are some type of Moor, or you come from, you you are connected to ancient Kemet. The different difference between you and I is that I look at the whole story for what it is. I have no narrative except what is the reality, what is the truth. How many of you? ever bred dogs how many of you know have ever bought a purebred dog now you know and I know when you when you purchase a purebred animal a dog they must come with papers and if you want to breed your purebred dog with somebody else purebred dog they're going to want to see the papers what are the papers? The papers is or it's verification of a bloodline. The papers are verifying that this animal's DNA, this lineage, they are in this bloodline. They are purebred. They are part of this family here. Now, if there's another dog 
if you want a purebred German Shepherd, there's no Chihuahuas, there's there's no Dachshunds, there's no Bulldogs in the bloodline. If it is, that dog is called a mutt. And that dog is rejected by people who want purebred animals. I say that you're not, and we're not Africans. Where's your papers to show your bloodline? Well, the, uh, I got the DNA test. I got a DNA test from African ancestry. I got a D. What? Here go my test. 85% African. 50% African. <laughs> I got my paper. No, you just wasted a lot of money for no reason. Since you know, not believe, since you know that you are African, what is your nation? What is your tribe? Who are your people? Who are you related to? When you go on vacation, what's the name of your relatives in Africa that you go see in Africa? You do not have those. Why don't your papers, your DNA test, why don't your papers take you to your people, to your relatives? Then your second problem is, do they accept you? Do they claim you? That's your second problem. Now, as many of you know, my family originally, we come from the state of Mississippi. 50 years ago, we moved to St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri, Mississippi, 500 miles in between. Now, the children here who are being born and don't know nothing about Mississippi, we tell them, well, hey, you know, we, we come from Mississippi. They look at you like, what you telling me that for? Let's get in the car and let's go visit where, where we was born, our family. I want to go to no Mississippi. They don't even want to go. They don't care. This is what you're dealing with. The people don't really care. There are those who might say, yeah, I'm, I have African DNA. I'm an African, blah, blah, blah. They don't have no interest in Africa, just like my grandnieces and nephews and nephews and nieces. They don't care nothing about Mississippi. They don't know nothing about that. And the only reason why I care about Mississippi, because I actually, I was born there and I moved. They were born in Missouri. They were not born in Mississippi. They don't care nothing about it like that. They will go to a funeral or whatever and be ready to go back home. Go back home. Now, if you were mistreated in Mississippi, I mean, if you was mistreated in Missouri or whatever, that might be different. Just like I understand why many of us want to go to, to Africa because of the mistreatment that we receive here. So I understand the mentality and the mindset. You mad and you angry and you upset. Okay, I got that. You're not an African according to your own DNA test. Because most of these tests tell you you are 50% African. 80% African. That's not, that's not pure. It don't tell you who your people are. What's the country? Who are your people? And if who, whose DNA are they using to compare your DNA to these people, they must be your relatives. So why don't you go visit them? Ask the DNA company, where you get this DNA sample from? I'm going to go to my relative. They're not interested in you. My relatives in Mississippi right now some might, might not be interested in me because I have not been there and don't live in Mississippi anymore. And they definitely don't really care nothing about the children who they don't know nothing about. <laughs> Woo! Africa don't care anything about people they don't know nothing about. 
we understand and using your narrative we are kidnapped Africans and we are long lost we understand that narrative but the reality is out of sight out of mind they don't care nothing about you that's the reality of it now if you want to try to build some type of relationship that's good also but nobody is in a rush nobody nobody cares about that really you're trying to force yourself on people that don't give a damn about you Africa has never done nothing for black people in America nothing and they're not doing anything for us right now. Why should I be in a hurry to be an African? Another thing is that if it was not for Afri Africa, there would be no slave trade. The only reason why there was a slave trade was because the Africans participated in it. And there was slavery in Africa before the Europeans. These are facts. These are things that we ignore. Now for me, there are people from the continent that come to America when they see me they say I don't do it my brother and I can pass for somebody from the islands I can pass for somebody from uh, Ghana or the Congo I've been approached like that what about you what African are you be specific what African are you trying to be now, if I wanted to, I could claim to be an African because I have the features. I have the I look like somebody from the continent. I could do that. The majority of, of black Americans in this country, what African are we supposed to be? That's my question. Be specific. Africa is a continent. You can't be a continent. What nation, what people, what tribe? Be specific, since you know, you said, I know I's an African. Well, what African, what people are you? A mixed breed dog can look like a purebred. There are German Shepherds, there are Dalmatians, there are Dachshunds, there are Bulldogs. They look like a purebred, but they're not. There are fish that look like a purebred fish, but they're not, or a bird. They're not. That's in your DNA, and whatever is in your DNA, you can look like whatever is, is in your DNA. Or you will look, or you will look mixed, like a lot of dogs look mixed. If you look at your family, like my family, my family don't look like me. All kinds of fat, short, tall, big nose, thin noses, kinky hair, semi-straight hair, all kinds of looks. Black people in America, some of us, we are light-skinned, we are brown-skinned, we are dark-skinned, we are black-toned. Some of us can pass for white people. What African on the continent that you know can pass and look like a white man. The reason why the so-called Negro or the black American can look like a white man, can look like a European, is because it's in, in, in a lot of us, it's in our DNA. We can have the thin nose, we can have the thin lips. Some of us even have the straighter hair. We can actually pass for white. But you are African. What African? So I'm going to ask for the last time. What African do the so-called Negro, the black American, supposed to be? Since you know. You don't know. Except reality, my friend, is much easier. Make things much easier on you. Instead of staying in that ball of identity confusion.